Generative AI is known for its variability. Now, it might be suitable for tasks where flexibility is acceptable, but for grading, where each decision impacts a student's future, the two are fundamentally incompatible. And we need to design tools that are consistent and fair to ensure that each student is evaluated accurately. So any biases that are present in the data are also going to be present in the model. And it's not easy to pick out and choose what those biases might be, or those perspectives might be. Consistency is also a huge issue because generative AI creates content based on probabilities, not fixed rules. And that means that its output can vary each time and that reliability is required for tasks that need stable and repeatable results, like grading. And on the explainability front, these processes are quite complex. They often have millions of parameters that are adjusted through training. Like ChatGPT 4.0, for example, has 1.8 trillion parameters. When you have so many parameters, the way these interact are not easily interpretable and trying to work out why a certain thing has happened or certain output has occurred is effectively impossible and this sort of is very difficult to use in high stakes environments such as grading. Classification AI is basically a super smart organizer. It learns to categorize things into different groups based on the features. So for example, in this <laughs> kind of toy example, you can look at different animals and learn to identify whether cats or dogs by specifying different traits like fur length, ear shape or sound. And once trained, you can quickly and accurately identify those and classify new items that it hasn't seen before into those existing groups. Now, how does this affect those issues that I talked about earlier? Well, on the consistency front, AI, these AI systems are designed for consistency because they follow much clearer rules when they're sorting things into categories. They're trained on label data and you can look at that labeling of that data in a much more transparent way that can reduce the bias effects. Uh, what are my recommendations? I think generally speaking, I, I recommend that you adopt classification AI for high stakes grading. You can use generative for maybe some low stakes grading. You really need to have a system of human oversight and accountability when it comes to these systems, because you really need to have a human in the loop in this approach. And lastly, we need to invest in teacher and student training because these systems are rapidly evolving and we need to completely stay on top of these things. Grading falls into this high stakes category, requiring the utmost precision. Generative AI is known for its variability. Now, it might be suitable for tasks where flexibility is acceptable, but for grading, where each decision impacts a student's future, the two are fundamentally incompatible. And we need to design tools that are consistent and fair to ensure that each student is evaluated accurately.